Hello and welcome. Let's put a sequence of images into Final Cut Pro X. Here is my folder and here are the images. Let's just preview them real quick. So as you can see, this is all part of an animation. So let's just try to import them. Let's see if we can drag them in here in Import Media. Yep, that works, at least when you select them individually. And incidentally, they are all already selected. If not, you would have to draw a rectangle around them. And now we're gonna create a new project. Let's call it This Is It. The resolution does match my images and I do want a frame rate of 30. So let's press OK. And now while all these are selected, let's just drag them into the timeline. There's no need to change any settings first as other tutorials will try to teach you. All right, so now what we want while they are all selected down here and while there's nothing else in the timeline, we want to modify the duration. You can also hit Ctrl D for that on the keyboard. And it doesn't seem to do anything, but this is selected now. So just type the number one and press enter. All right, as you can see, they all got smaller and moved to the left. So let's zoom in a little. I want the last frame to appear for longer. So I'm just going to stretch this out. And the position is also a bit weird. So let's select everything and move it to the left. And now I'm just going to import a video so we can test putting it on top. Before we do this, let's extend the end to 4 seconds. Select everything, right click or command click and select new compound clip. I'm just going to call this the overlay. And here we are. Now the image sequence is like its own clip. So now I'm just going to drag the video below it. And here we can see the overlay and action. And there you go. That's how you add an image sequence into Final Cut Pro. I hope this helped. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao.